What's up guys? Welcome to lesson two, four, multiplying integers. Let's do it. So here we have three integers multiplying each other. Now the key is to know what do we do when we have multiple negatives? Negative numbers kind of work like this. If you have one negative in the lot, it sort of like contaminates everything. Everything turns out negative. So we don't care about the positives when we're, when we're trying to figure out the sign. If we have two negatives, if we have all positive, it's positive. Now, if we have two negatives, they cancel each other out. Three negatives, the two cancel each other out and the one remaining contaminates the lot. So it's sort of like if there's an odd number of negatives, the solution's negative. If there's an even number, it's positive. Here we have an even number. We have negative eight and negative 20. They cancel each other out. So this whole thing is positive. Then we just go ahead and do the multiplication. We do eight times 20, which is 160. And then we still multiply that five. What's five times 160? That is 800. Now you could have done this in another order as well because the commutative property of multiplication says if we're, we're just multiplying a bunch of integers we can do it any which way we want it could be easier if you want to do 5 times 20 first which is 100 then times 8 which is 800 okay, let's go on to 28 so now we're just combining all of these guys and multiplying them together what happens is when we have a bunch of integers like this and like this these guys all combine so 3 times 7 is 21, times 5 is 105. And then what happens to these variables? R, S, and T, they don't combine. They're not like terms, but they just kind of sit there. Just like if we had different fruit or different objects, they don't merge and apples and oranges don't merge into one super fruit, uh, like the Freakonomics book title or book cover. Now they just stay separate, RST, 105 RST is your final answer. All right, now let's go on to the next two problems. Number 32, negative 15 ST, if S equals four, T equals negative nine. So here, I'm just gonna, same thing with these plug and chug, I'm just gonna plug in the values. We got a four there, we got a negative nine here. And now, how many, uh, how many negative numbers do we have? We have two, negative 15, negative nine. Therefore, this answer is going to be positive. So now let's multiply them all out. Uh, we could do it any which way. I'm going to do the in the order that it's given. So 4 times 15, that is 60. We still got this 9 here. I've already taken away the negatives because I know it's going to be positive. And then what's 9 times 60? Well, 9 times 6 is 54. So 9 times 60 is just 540. Finally, let's get down to here. So now we're trying to figure out which quantity is bigger, left row, or they, maybe they're equal. We're gonna find out. So here we've got, uh, we got two negatives. Again, this guy is gonna be a positive because it's an even number. So five times two is 10 times nine is 90. But it doesn't even matter because since this guy is positive, we look over here, we just got one negative. That's gonna contaminate the lot the whole thing's gonna be negative. Now, we'll actually calculate it. It's 360 if you wanna do the multiplication. It doesn't, you don't have to, but it's 90 times four, 360, but it's negative. That's the key. Because this side is negative, this side has to be bigger. Positive is always bigger than a negative and done.